So most students have seen the formula for the circumference of a circle, which is really just the perimeter or the outside length of a circumference. And you've seen it's 2 pi times r, where r is the radius. But very few books talk about why, where, what's the origin of that expression, and what's the basis. So here I want to give you a conceptual understanding of why the circumference is 2 pi r, or a better way to think about this is that the, the ratio of the circumference to its radius in a circle is some fixed number. And it's the same number for all circles. It doesn't matter how large a circle is. Meaning if you took any circle, you measured its outside length using a, a thread or measuring tape, and you divide it by its radius, which is the distance from the center to the outside of the circle, that is going to be always a fixed number. It turns out to be 2 pi, or, uh, which is pi is 3.14 so on and so forth, so it's going to be 6.28 something. But here I want to show that this, why this is always a fixed number. So let's look at this, uh, these two concentric circles. They share a center, O. And what I've done is I've divided uh, into these identical sectors. And so each of these portions are equal, meaning this curve A, B, B, C, C, D are equal, and same thing, the inside, they're equal as well. And then um, I'd like to connect points A to B. So it's basically a, a polygon here, a many-sided figure, like this, like that, and that. Now here, the radius, so OA is the radius of the small circle. That's equal to OB, which is this length. And then similarly for the larger circle, OA is equal to OB, I mean equal to OC, O equal to OD, all of these, because they're all just radius. So OC, I'm using the small, small letter for that. And since if these two are equal, and if I just look at this triangle here, because this is a straight line here, these two are equal, lengths are equal, meaning these two angles are going to be equal, so it's an isosceles triangle. And then they, both of these larger triangles, OBA and small OBA here, share the central angle. And we know that these two angles have to be equal to, which means that these two angles are identical, uh, which means that these are similar triangles. So if I had to redraw this, something like that, this is O, A, B, A, B because they share this common angle, the, and these two have an equal measure because OA and OB are equal, and these two angles will also be identical to that. So these are similar triangles, which means ratio of corresponding sides are equal, which means OA, this length, to small OA, which is the radius of the inside uh, circle, is equal to um, AB, over a b and i'm actually going to call this radius large r and this radius small r so this relationship would be r over r is a b over a b so that's the first relationship now what i'm going to do is to write the ratio of the circumference of the the two polygons so the outside so um i should say perimeter because circumferences are just used for circles. So perimeter of um, outside polygon A, B, C, D, dot, 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 over perimeter of the inside polygon, dot, dot, dot. Now, there are N of these divisions, and it's a regular polygon. Each, each segment is equal. would be N times A, B over N times... Um, small a, b. And I know that this is equal to r over r, which the n's cancel out because we have the same, right? Now, if we imagine the n becoming extremely large, meaning I'm dividing this circle into a polygon that has, say, a, a million, million of these sides. And in that limit, this perimeter of the outside, the, the larger polygon would be almost identical in the limit, would be identical to the circumference of the circle. 
And the same thing with the denominator, that would become identical to the circumference of the inside circle. So what we have here is that the circumference of the larger circle over circumference of the smaller circle would become equal to the ratio of their corresponding radius. And um, that's basically the key result. And I can rewrite this as meaning that the ratio of the circumference of the larger circle with radius r is identical to the circumference of the smaller circle um, over its radius, meaning this is a fixed quantity. It doesn't tell me what that fixed quantity is. I should say fixed number, just synonymous with a constant. And that means no matter what the size of the circle is, the ratio of the circumference to its radius is a constant number. And if we want to write this in terms of diameter, diameter is uh, twice radius. That would also mean that the circumference to the diameter is some constant number, meaning it's the same number for all circles, doesn't matter how large they are. And when we do the measurements, and we have to actually try it, we find that this is what that number pi is, uh, 3.14159 dot dot dot. And that's where we get the formula circumferences pi d or d is 2r, so 2 pi r. So that's the basis, but the key idea is um, visualizing these two circles as a n-sided polygon and then then relating the perimeter of the poly polygons to the 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 radius of these uh, uh, circles and then in the limit that you have a really large number of uh, uh, sides for this polygon it approximates the the circumference of the circle and we find that that ratio is fixed so that's really the basis of why circumference to the radius is a constant. So that completes this concept video.